You will never raise that child. These words, spoken by a thoughtless visitor within earshot of the small boy who lay ill with tuberculosis, were the beginning, and they provoked in that instant a determination which will never die. In the mind of this small boy, the spark which had been struck became his flame of life, and he lived. He grew stronger. Stronger, too, was his determination to learn why. Then one day came an understanding that he had called on the power of life already abundant in nature, and that nature had responded. He had called upon it with his mind, with thoughts. From a realization of what this implied, a philosophy was born. In later years, this philosophy crystallized into a few simple words. What you think, you look. What you think, you do. What you think, you are. Thinking can take many paths. One of the most intriguing is the one in search of knowledge, and this was his path. And what could be more expected, considering his childhood experiences, than that he should delve into the secrets of nature? And thus it was, organic chemistry. The first Shackley product was placed on the market in 1915. It was a pure, unaltered, unchemicalized, concentrated powder compounded from a variety of vegetables. This compound, in tests, seemed to have something extra, and so it was descriptively named Vitalized Minerals. Two sons were born into, raised by, and imbued with the Shackley philosophy and inquisitive determination and became links in the chain of forever. As they grew, they learned. They saw experiments by the tens of thousands, tests which probed at the unknown. The team was being forged. Years went by like days, and days became fleeting moments. There were frustrations and interruptions, but a dawn was breaking over a kingdom of knowledge which held awesome promise. Protein, the major ingredient of all living cells. The problem? Find the ideal protein source, then discover how to retain its values in a food supplement for human consumption. The source was uncovered in the soybean. This was relatively easy. But the real test lay in ridding this vegetable of its unpalatable features, yet retaining its nutritional values unaltered. This search consumed 24 years. Its success can be measured by the nutritional effectiveness of Shackley protein food supplements. In 1956, the father and two sons decided to go directly to the public with their amazing products. It took the field by attracting some of the finest minds and abilities and integrities of American marketing, direct salesmen. It was believed then, and it is proven to be so, that the personal contact and service provided by these men and women of high ideals give greater value to the customer than any other system of marketing. And so the Shackley family grew. With the need for expansion, Shackley Products located its base plant and office facilities at Hayward, California in October of 1962. However, in less than three years, the company was forced to expand its new plant to more than twice the original size. In 1965, Shackley Products celebrated its 50th anniversary a milestone preceded and followed by vigorous and constant development. Proven good judgment of the board of directors keeps this company on a firm, progressive financial course. The professional abilities of the Shackley Sons, Forrest Jr. and Lee, were vital generators in helping to make Shackley a household word. And it all started with a thought. A thought conceived by Forrest C. Shackley Sr. more than a half century ago. We are what we think.